Hi, my name is Addy, and I'm a MFA student at the Fierstein Graduate School of Cinema Arts at Brooklyn College. And on top of the technical talk tonight, the uh, topic of confidence has been here. And I recently got an animation internship at Big Star Motion Design. And I've been talking to a lot of artists there. And imposter syndrome seems to be a major thing that a lot of people experience. And I was wondering if any of you guys have experienced that, and if so, any tips and tricks you guys have come, have tips or tricks you guys are able to overcome this? Oh boy. It's a great question. Do we have time? <laughs> How much time do we have? Um, I do a lot of this work with my mentees because I find that imposter syndrome is such a big thing that holds them back. And what's great to know about that is nobody goes into something, no matter what line of industry they're in or what role they're stepping into, knowing everything at once. And that's completely fine. And it really is staying present in the moment, taking that task one day at a time and being like, OK, this is what I have today, and knowing that you're going to grow on it. Um, I think something that we learned in CG is it's okay to fail fast. <laughs> um, that was like a phrase that we would use, you know, like if you're learning something and it's not working out for you, that doesn't mean that you're gonna be a bad artist for the rest of your life. Fail fast on the project, take the lesson from it and move on to something else. And also, when it, lastly, when it comes to imposter syndrome, a lot of it is tied to limiting beliefs that we've either experienced from situations in our lives or just that we've self-fed ourselves because we can be really hypercritical. And knowing where those sources come from and just sitting with those emotions will help you to move past that imposter syndrome just a bit to know like, OK, like, this is why I feel this way, but is that true? Like, usually it's not. And then you can step into where you want to go.